What's up everybody, Tony here with iTech Check, and today is the day. I have a ton of screen protectors that I'm going to be testing on the brand new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I will be putting a link in the description for all of these screen protectors in case you guys want to check them out yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews to you guys. So I'm also going to be putting timestamps for each one of these because this can this is probably going to be a lengthy video. I'm dedicated to showing you guys which screen protectors are good and which ones are bad because I know how frustrating it is to try to find a good screen protector out there that works with your phone well. And I want to save you guys the time and money and show you which screen protectors work well and which ones don't. All I'm asking is please show me that you care that I'm doing this for you. Hit that subscribe button and if you guys like the video, hit the like as well. Last year I did this, some of the screen protectors didn't work with the uh, fingerprint sensor, so that's another big thing, especially with the glass screen protectors this year. I know they work with you know, the flimsy plastic screen protectors, but the biggest thing is with the glass. So first off, I'm gonna start with the film screen protectors, then I'm going to move on to the glass screen protectors that don't use adhesive. Then finally, we're gonna move on to the glass screen protectors that do use adhesive because it's probably going to be pretty messy and I wanna leave these for last. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we start, I just wanna tell you that there are a couple things that I'm going to do before every screen installation so I don't have to keep showing you. One is clean the screen off with the alcohol uh, wipe and wipe it down. Then I'm also going to use these stickers to take all the dust off. That's a given. We don't need to show that in the video anymore. So let's get started. So the first screen protector we're going to show is a film screen protector by Pullen. Here we get our accessory packet, a squeegee, some foam stickers. It also comes with a couple tempered glass uh, protectors for your cameras, which is pretty nice. A guide and then our actual film screen protectors. First, we're gonna put down our little foam bumps here. This makes the installation a little easier. And this makes it so the foam doesn't move when you're trying to do the installation. Okay, so next up, we need to put in our little bottom guide here. Let's put that into the USB-C slot. Okay, so then we need to align the protector that on here so that is aligned and we'll line it up with the top here the camera bump okay so we're gonna take our squeegee we'll pull up on the tab here make sure that the green uh, line here goes up above the glass and we'll go ahead and squeegee that down and we'll make sure that that guide is taken away because we don't need that anymore and then we'll pull up on the tab here. Make sure the green mark goes above the glass and we'll smooth that down. I see a little smooth that out. Then we'll go ahead and peel up on tab two here. And that is our screen protector. Now we need to smooth down the sides. Okay, and then we'll take our little wipe here and make sure we get everything wiped down. Maybe go over the edges again a little bit, just push those down. Okay, looks like we have a slight bubble on the bottom here. We'll just kind of try to push that out. It's looking pretty nice here. So that is a bubble-free installation. I don't see are really any bubbles. The edges seem to be staying down pretty well. Very nice. And it covers pretty much almost all the screen. I do kind of see like a little, little orange peel up at the top there. You see the wrinkles. It's not a huge deal, but they are there. Um, yeah, so that looks pretty good. So let's test out the fingerprint sensor. Okay, so I have not redone my fingerprints. And it works perfectly. So 
you really don't need to redo your fingerprints unless you're having issues, but it seems like I'm not. Um, it's recognizing my fingerprints every single time. Excellent. So uh, this is, it, it doesn't have a, a really smooth uh, feel like the glass does. It kind of stops your fingerprint, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it definitely helps with the fingerprint sensor because you don't want your fingers sliding all over the screen when you're uh, trying to unlock it. So let's go ahead and try a case here. So this is the Rinky Fusion X case. So I don't see any peeling up. It seems to come just to the edge of the case. No touch issues, everything is working just fine. So yeah, if you guys are looking uh, for a film screen protector for your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the pull-in is definitely gonna be a go. And if you guys were interested in seeing the back glass for your, your cameras, here it is right here. So uh, we just kind of peel that off, as easy as that. There's no guide, so you kind of just wanna put it on the best that you can. Okay, so next up is the Unique Me screen protector. You get three protectors. Here's your accessory packet with the squeegee and the wipes. And then again, you have these guides you can put down. I already have the first one, so we'll just continue to use that. Okay, so they wanted to watch, they wanted you to watch an installation video first, so I watched that. So now I know exactly how to install this. So first, you're going to peel off the back, which is number one. There's really no guide for this, so you kind of want to eyeball this the best you can. I mean, the only real guide you have is going to be the camera slot here, but the rest you're going to have to line up yourself. So do the best that you can. Then next we're going to push down in the middle here and kind of push that down. Put it up against our bump. We'll take our squeegee. We'll start here. We'll go ahead and lift up on number two. Make sure that that film goes above your screen and we'll go ahead and squeegee this out. Okay. So that's one. We'll go ahead and flip it around. Put the squeegee behind here. We'll go ahead and lift up on number three. Make sure that the film goes above your screen and squeegee that down. Okay. Push down the edges here. And we'll go ahead and lift up on number four. And then again, we'll go ahead and push these edges down. And then we'll take our little wipe here and kind of get those edges again. There's a little bubble at the edge. Don't really see a lot of peeling up. Let's see how well it works with the screen uh, fingerprint sensor perfectly. Again, I don't have to redo my fingerprints. It works perfectly fine. So again, uh, this one does have some rippling at the top. There you can see the little line at the top there. Again, it's not a huge deal, um, but it is there. And this does have that uh, kind of that grippy feel like the, the first one that I did has. It's kind of like that plastic, that rubber plasticky feel. But um, it definitely works perfectly fine. Uh, re responsiveness is, there's no issues there either. Let's go ahead and put it in a case. Again, this one seems to be case friendly. It comes right up to the edge of the case. Now, depending on how you had this installed, you may have put it, the screen protector more over to one side than the other, and it seems to kind of be the case uh, here because the screen protector doesn't come right to the edge, but it almost comes up to the edge. But on the other side here, um, it actually, I think it goes maybe over the edge and is a little under the case, so it might, it may, uh, peel up after a bit but as of right now it, it seems to be good uh, again it's it's all it's all with the um, 
lineup when you first do this. I kind of had it off to more of one side than I did the other, but it uh, definitely looks pretty good. Fingerprint is working perfectly fine. It seems to work pretty well with the case. I'm going to give this one the thumbs up. So if you guys are looking for another film screen protector, this one's a go. Okay, next up we have EGV screen protector. Here's your accessory packet again. Here we have some much bigger pieces of foam to put down. This one also comes with a, a protector for your camera on the back too. Here's our little installation guide. And then you also get two screen protectors. This one's going to be the same installation as the very first one we did. So we take our guide, make sure that the three little things are facing up. We'll go ahead and push that into our USB-C slot on the bottom here. Okay, so this one again, we kind of line it up with the guide at the bottom here. Then we need to line it up with the camera bump at the top. Okay, we'll go ahead and press that down there. We'll take our squeegee, we'll hold at the bottom here, pull up on the one, make sure that the green is lifted above our screen and squeegee it down. We'll flip it around here. We will take our squeegee, put it behind the line here. We'll lift up on our number three, squeegee that down. We should have uh, gotten rid of the guide, but I didn't. So now I'll go ahead and take that guide out, squeegee that down a little bit. Okay. And we'll go ahead and peel up on this. And now we need to push down the edges. <sighs> this guide seems to work really well. So the first one and this one are pretty much going to be the same, I would assume. We'll go ahead and take our little wipe here, push down the edges a little more. Don't see any bubbles, looking pretty good right now. The edges seem to be staying down pretty well. No bubbles, no peeling. Let's see if it works with my fingerprint. Working perfectly fine. Perfect. Perfect. So, fingerprint sensor working amazing. Um, again, there's some wrinkling, very small wrinkling up at the top. It's not a huge deal, like I said, but it is there. It's just because it, this is the type of film uh, that they're using, that rubbery, plasticky film. So, edges, everything looks great. Installation was super easy. Let's go ahead and put it in a case here. Again, it does seem to be case friendly. It comes right up to the edge. Perfectly fine. No peeling up. It works with your fingerprint. I'm gonna say that this one's going to be a go as well. Touch screen is perfectly responsive, super quick. Everything works great. Yeah, EGV, definitely a go. And then if you're interested, here are the EGV uh, screen protectors for your camera on the back. The main difference between this one and the other one that I put on is this one uh, is blackened, whereas the first one was totally all clear, but it still has the cutouts for all your cameras, uh, your sensors, and the LED. Okay, and next we have another film screen protector made by OEAG. Here's your little guide. Your, your squeegee. Your screen protector cleaners and you get three screen protectors looks like you also get a full mat to put down that keeps your phone in place during the installation okay, so first you have to take apart your guide and put that in our USB-C so first we need to peel off our number one then we'll go ahead and line it up with our guide Okay, then we'll put the little top back on and we'll line it up with our cameras. Okay, push it up against there. We'll take our squeegee, 
We'll start back here behind the line. We'll lift up on tab two. Make sure the protector, the protective cover goes over your screen. And we'll push down. And we'll flip that around. We'll take off our little guide. Okay. Then we'll push our squeegee behind the line again, lift up on tab three. Okay, go ahead and squeegee forward. Get all the bubbles that we can. Okay, go ahead and flip that around. After all the bubbles are out, we'll go ahead and lift up on three. Then we'll go ahead and fold down these edges. All right, let's take a look. Edges seem to be down pretty good. A slight bubble at the bottom here, but we can get that out. Edges seem to be holding down pretty well. Looks really good. Again, at the top, there's kind of like those little lines you can see but again it's not really a big deal it happens with pretty much all of these screen protectors put them in the case so this one seems to come right up to the edge of the case um, it does seem to maybe have some potential to eventually peel up at the bottom here it doesn't come right up to the case but at the top it does a little more but it looks pretty good for right now. Let's test the fingerprint. Fingerprint works fine. Yep. Perfectly fine. Touch. No problems. Very responsive. Again, this one has that, that kind of grippy, rubbery feel to it. So your fingers don't really s slide like they do on glass. But again, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Okay, so the last one for the film screen protectors is the Rinky Dual Easy Wing. Okay, so here we have a couple screen protectors. Squeegee, lens cleaner, wipe. Okay, so we make sure we have this all lined up right. And we're going to use this as our little guide for the camera. Okay, so first off we're going to take uh, the number one film off. Okay, we'll line this up the best we can here. Okay, and now we want to make sure that the edges are lined up with our buttons. What we're going to do is take the squeegee. We're going to lift up on number two, pull this back, make sure the lip goes above your screen, and we'll just go ahead and push forward. Okay, and we'll go ahead and flip this around, do the same thing for the other side, put the squeegee behind. Lift up on this tab, squeegee this down. Okay, peel up on number four, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go around these edges again, and then make sure they go totally on the other, on the underside of the phone. And we'll take our wipe and we'll just kind of push that down again. So the nice thing about the Rinky is that it totally goes around the edge of your phone to make sure that there are no peeling peelings because it holds onto the back of the phone. So if you have a case, um, it'll go over the screen protector and you won't have to worry about um, any peeling. So it doesn't look like there's any bubbles on the top. As far as those wrinkles go that some of the other ones had, it doesn't look like there are any of those. Looks pretty clean. There are a few bubbles. Those should disappear in a couple days. Like there's one here. Um, and then there are a couple on the underside, which I don't think anybody would really care because it's on the underside. But the top looks pretty good. Okay, let's see how well it works with the fingerprint sensor. Perfectly fine, just like the other ones. Touch still has that same 
a slight rubbery, plasticky feel to it, but it does not um, do anything to your touch sensitivity. Perfectly fine. Feels good. Again, it doesn't feel like glass. It, it feels like that, uh, kind of like that smooth rubbery plastic on it. But as far as the edges go, they are not peeling up. Again, like I said, because it curves underneath the screen, you don't have to worry about that peeling like some of the other ones will. Yeah, so Rinky, definitely a go. Okay, so now we're going to be starting on the glass screen protectors. I think this is what everybody's been pretty much waiting for. So we're going to start off with this one. This one is made by Venoro. Pretty nice little wooden box here. You get one screen protector. And it looks like here are our uh, accessory packet. Okay, so basically what they want us to do is create a hinge. So we're going to pre-position the screen protector on the screen, then kind of tape it down so it falls back into place perfectly fine. Go ahead and put that on there. This is kind of the hardest insulation because it's so slippery, it just kind of slides around. So now we'll go ahead and unhinge it. We'll peel off the sticky side here. Make sure you don't touch the underside. We'll go ahead and put this down. And then we want to push in the middle here. We want to make sh definitely make sure that this little fingerprint cutout, we make sure we work all of the bubbles out because that is super important. The fingerprint sensor won't work unless we do. And we'll just kind of squeegee the whole rest of the screen protector. It has adhesive around the sides here. Take off our guide sticker. So we'll just go ahead and try a new fingerprint with this one because it kind of seems to be acting a little weird. So this definitely does seem to have some issues registering the fingerprint sensor. It kind of it seems like it's working here and there. It's not working exactly like you'd want it to. You gotta kind of press harder than you normally would. Okay, let's see. This one is kind of a hit and miss. It does kind of work and then sometimes it doesn't. I don't know how you feel about that hole in the middle right there. That would kind of get to me because you can see it uh, when the screen is off. And you can kind of see it when it's when the screen is on as well. It's kind of a I don't know, kind of like a weird thing because it didn't totally adhere to the screen. And then the edges here kind of you can see the glue holding it down. I would assume dust and stuff would be uh, not too good in there. Well, let's try it in a case. Comes right up to the case on here. Might actually peel it up a little bit in time because it's pushing uh, up on it. Touch sensitivity doesn't seem to be affected. But again, that fingerprint sensor, it took too long to kind of get set up. I would probably pass on this one. That's just my preference. You guys are seeing how it's working. If you want to take a chance, you can, but I would probably pass on this one. Okay, so here we have another glass screen protector. It's made by Asafine. Here we have our accessory packet, how to install, and you get two glass screen protectors. Okay, so this one again has kind of like a little fingerprint cutout. All we're going to do is peel off the backing here and then we're going to kind of just line it up with the screen the best we can. And we'll push down in the middle here. Very important you want to get this fingerprint down the best you can. Doesn't seem to be adhering very well but we kind of want to push down all around the screen on the edges so the glue can stick. 
Okay, so this is definitely working better than the last one. Okay, so that seems to work every time. I'll show you this little thumb screen at the bottom here. If you can get past that look, then this screen protector is okay. But you see that whenever you look at your phone and it's kind of ugly because it doesn't totally adhere down to the screen to make it look like there's glass. Like it looks like a smut, like a, a constant smudge on your phone and it's kind of kind of annoying. I personally don't really like that. If you're a person that can get past that, then uh, this seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, let's try the case. This does come right up to the edge, the top and the bottom of the case. The edges are not touching. And again, this is held down by uh, like a it, an adhesive, not a liquid adhesive, but kind of like uh, just like tape adhesive. I guess it's not bad. Again, this does work uh, better than the last one. And it is a glass screen protector, so it's going to, uh, you know, keep your screen protected. So if you can get past that smudge, then this is a go for you. Okay, so this, the next one we have up is made by Shivive. I know it looks uh, exactly like the same packaging as the other one. Let's see if it is. If it is, I'm not going to waste your time and... We'll just say that it worked just like the other ones. And it is. It's exactly the same screen protector as the last one we did. So again, if you can get past that little smudge, then this is going to be a go for you. Okay, so here we have another one. This one's made by Vita Vela. Okay, so super important on this one, the Vita Vela one, even though it looks just like the other ones we did, the fingerprint sensor is off center, as you can see here. So it does not line up with the fingerprint sensor on your phone. It's off, so you need to be very careful on which one you buy. So again, this one was the Vita Vela one, so I would stay away from these because they're cut off center. Here we have another glass screen protector. This one's made by TZNXM. Again, it kind of looks like the same packaging as the other ones. We'll see how the screen protector is inside. Okay, so this screen protector looks a little different. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but this particular one has a black lining on the top and the bottom, and it doesn't have kind of like a texture uh, underneath like some of the other ones did. So we're gonna go ahead and test this one out. Okay, so again, to line this up, we're going to be using the camera cut out here. So first we'll go ahead and peel off the inside. We'll go ahead and kind of line this up the best that we can here. Kind of push down the edges, make sure it adheres well. Okay, so again, it kind of looks like there's a smudge um, in the middle at the bottom of your screen. We'll see how well the fingerprint sensor works. So this one says no match. We're gonna go ahead and have to put in a new set of fingerprints just for the sake of argument, make sure that it's working. We're also gonna make sure we turn on the touch sensitivity. Fingerprint added, so we'll go ahead and try that out. Okay, so the fingerprint does seem to be working. Again, it just kind of looks like there's a smudge in the middle of your screen. We'll go ahead and put it in a case. And it does come right up to the edges of almost the whole case. It may, it may have potential to push up um, on the bottom here, depending on how you installed it. I mean, it comes right up to the case itself on the top and the bottom, so you can't really put it on any better. It is what it is. Uh, but it's definitely it's going to protect your screen. So we'll go ahead and see the touch sensitivity. Touch working fine. Again, if you can stand the fact that there's you know that smudge in the middle of your screen at the bottom, then this might work for you. So this one seems to be working. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Okay, now this next one is made by GBBC. It's a little different. This one is a privacy glass, so. Pretty interested to see how well this one works. 
you only get one with this. So here, as you can see, it is the privacy glass. This one does not have a little cutout for the fingerprint sensor. And it is definitely thicker than the other glass screen protectors. Okay, so the installation of this one is just like the other ones. We'll go ahead and peel off this bottom protector and then we'll just go ahead and try to line it up the best we can with our phone here. And then we'll take our little wipe here and press down on the edges all around. Make sure that adhesive sticks to the edges of the phone. Okay, so the fingerprint sensor is not working so we'll go ahead and try to add our fingerprint. And there's also some lines. I don't know if you guys can see the like those kind of lines going across the screen. That's not the video, that's the screen protector. So because there's no cutout, your fingerprint is not working at all. So as you can see, if I turn the phone to one side, you can't see the screen anymore, but if you look if you look at it dead on, you can still see the screen and that's that is pretty cool, but unless you want to use your phone without a you know, in-display fingerprint sensor, I would probably pass on this one. Okay, our last one is made by ESR. Here's our cleaning kit. This one actually comes with a guide, which is pretty nice. And then here we have our two screen protectors. Okay, so first we're going to put on our guide. It doesn't seem to matter which way you put it on because every side is the same, so we'll just go ahead and push that down on top. Again, this one has a little uh, cutout on the bottom for your fingerprint. We'll go ahead and take off the underside protector. So then we'll go ahead and put down the top side first by the camera, and then we'll just kind of let it lay down. And then we'll go ahead and press in the middle of the screen protector to make it adhere. But you're really going to have to kind of push all, all around on the edges. And then we'll go ahead and press down on the center uh, fingerprint sensor. Again, it kind of looks like there's a smudge in the middle of the screen, so we'll take off our guide. Didn't seem like the fingerprint sensor was working before. But then it works. So if we turn the screen on a little bit and try our fingerprint sensor, it works hit and miss. Let's just try it with the screen off. It seems to work then. Okay, so that was painful, but it did add, so we'll go ahead and try it again. So it's a little painful to try to register your fingerprint, but once it's in, it does, it does seem to be working. Okay, so let's put it in our case here. So it pretty much comes right up to the top and the bottom of your case. Uh, there is a, just a tiny bit of room on the edges. So the fingerprint sensor does seem to be kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it does seem to be a little slower than normal, as if you didn't have a screen protector on there. But if you can stand the fact that it looks like there's a smudge on your screen, then you shouldn't have any issues with this screen protector. Everything seems to be working. Uh, it does fit in the case, so we'll go ahead and give this a go. Okay, so now we've come to the point that we're going to start testing out our glass screen protectors that use adhesive. This first one is made by Yunners. Here's our little vial of adhesive. Here's our little LED light. You also get a second vial because you get two glass screen protectors and then our accessory packets. Okay, so for this installation, you wanna make sure that you have some paper towels and possibly some little Q-tips uh, nearby because this doesn't have anything to keep the glue from you know spilling out off to the sides. There's also no instruction video. So there's no instructions for that matter. So I'm gonna just kinda of go off of what I've always done with these glass screen protectors and hope for the best. So here we go. Kind of prop this up a little bit to make it even because you don't want your adhesive to flow down uh, right away because of the camera bump on here. So we kind of want to prop it up and make it 
as even as possible. Okay, then we'll go ahead and take off the white cap. Then you're gonna hold it upside down and unscrew the black cap and let all of the fluid flow over the middle. So I had to lift it up because it was starting to flow. Uh, and the camera bump is gonna make it super hard to do this. So, okay, so it's steady now. That's This is the super hard part because you don't want it to flow all over the place. You definitely don't want this to go inside of your, your speaker grill here. So probably gonna put this down over the speaker grill. Yeah, this is, this is not gonna be good. It's not gonna, we don't want this to flow all the way down. It kind of needs to stay in the middle. So we'll go ahead and peel off the bottom portion. So the sticker, the sticker just broke off. So now I can't even peel off the underside of this glass. I'm just gonna forget about this installation, steer clear of this screen protector. It's already not looking good, so I would just stay away from this because this is gonna be a nightmare, especially if this adhesive gets into your, your speaker grill, done. You're not gonna be able to get it out. So just stay away from this Yunner's screen protector. Okay, so next up is Tamoria. So it looks like here we have some finger condoms, accessory packet, some little foam pads, and we have one glass screen protector. This one seems just like the other one, so I definitely want my speaker grill to be covered. So here it actually kind of looks like it comes with a sticker for your speaker grill, which is definitely better than what we had before. It doesn't look like there's any difference between the top and the bottom, so you can pretty much put this on any way. So make sure, again, you cover your speaker grill. Super important. Don't want any adhesive getting in there. Okay, so that's down pretty good, so at least that's covered. So now we need to make this level, which is gonna be hard because of that bump. I think we, should, we can maybe just Put that underneath and so that looks pretty level. So if you put your phone down with the the camera bump touching and use these two pads, it looks like it makes it uh, pretty level. So at least we're on the right track here. And then for the UV light, you're gonna have to find uh, like a USB to micro USB to plug in here to use it. I'm using a power bank, so we'll just use that. Again, take off the white cap of our adhesive. We need to break off this little piece here. Again, have that paper towel nearby just in case. We'll go ahead and put it in the middle of the screen and undo the black cap to let all of the adhesive flow out into the middle. Okay, so you want this adhesive to kind of be in the middle because you don't want it to flow out everywhere. So then I, we're gonna take our glass screen protector, we're gonna peel off the underside here, and this is what broke on the last one. Okay, again, it doesn't matter how you put it down. We'll start from the top here, and you're gonna kinda have to eyeball it because there's no guide. And then kinda move it into place the best you can. Don't press down on it. Let it adhere to all of the corners. No matter how much time you have to wait, you can still kind of move it around if you need. Again, you want to make sure your speaker is covered because once this ad adhesive hardens, there's no way to get it out of your speaker if it is in there. Again, you might have to wait, you know, minutes to maybe 15, 20 minutes, but it's crucial that the liquid flows around the whole screen and it also gets to each one of these edges because if it doesn't, and you do put a, a case or something on it, it will start to lift. So you kind of want to make sure, be patient, let it adhere to the whole screen before we start with the LED process. 
And again, you can kind of maneuver the screen when you first put it down, but do not press anywhere on the actual screen. Okay, so it does look like we have some pretty good adhesion. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cure the bottom portion before I go to the top because I wanna take the sticker off, but I don't want the screen protector to move. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cure the bottom portion first. So I do need to make a little correction real quick. This LED looks like it uses a USB Type-C. So it's not micro USB, it's USB Type-C. So we'll just let this cure for like 15 seconds. So then we'll go ahead and peel off our top sticker by our speaker grill to make sure there's nothing inside of it. So it definitely looks like uh, the adhesive got into my speaker grill no matter what. So I am not going to make this any more cured because I need to get that stuff out. So as long as it's not cured, you should be okay. You should be able to get it out. It's just most important to not cure it. Okay, so we are all good guys. This is exactly why I do this for you guys. So I can make the mistakes you guys won't have to and waste your hard earned money because $1,400 is not something to mess around with. So if you do have this issue pretty much with any of these, uh, adhesive screen protectors, you can always go and wash your phone up until the point you use this uh, UV light because once the adhesive is cured, then you're in trouble. But if you get that adhesive uh, anywhere in your phone, in your speaker grill, before you use the UV, go. you can go wash your phone, especially if you have a phone that's uh, water resistant. So that's all I did. I went and washed my phone under some cold water, used some soap. I also used some alcohol just to make sure I got everything out. Blow out your, you know, the speaker grill and every, everything like that. Dry it up and you're good to go. I even tested the speaker and it sounds perfectly fine. Like I said, you are good up until you use this UV light. Once you use the UV light, you are in trouble. So... <laughs> If you ever have any problems, stop there and just go wash your phone if it's water resistant. Stay away from Temoria. We're not going to use that. So our last one is called the Ultimate Shield. It kind of looks like a Whitestone Dome knockoff. So I think this might actually be a little cheaper than the Whitestone Dome, but let's go ahead and see how well it works. Okay, so here it comes with a couple packets of accessories. Here we have our insta little installation guide. We get two vials of liquid. We get two screen protectors, a micro USB to USB cable. Here's our LED UV light to cure the adhesive. And here we have our installation tray. Not bad. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and wipe off our screen. So once you're done cleaning off the top, we're gonna take our speaker stickers. Again, very important. We wanna cover any speakers we have. So the top one here, and then the bottom one, we wanna uh, put a little cover over that too. So there's the speaker on the bottom. And make sure you cover the top speaker grill the best you can. So then once you have your speakers covered, I'm gonna go ahead and press your phone into the case here with this uh, up at the top. Then we'll flip it over and then we'll push the phone the rest of the way in. Make sure it's seated nice and properly. Okay. Looks pretty good. Speakers are covered. Okay, so then you take your orange thing here and you're going to slide it all the way to the front. We're going to go ahead and take off the one end of the adhesive here. We'll go ahead and place that into the middle of the bar here and then unscrew the other green cap. Let all the liquid flow out into the middle. We'll flip the orange device back and then kind of make sure that the bubble is in the middle of your tray here. We want it to evenly distribute, okay? Once that's done, we'll take our screen protector. We'll take off the back tab here Make sure you don't touch the bottom of the screen. Then we'll go ahead and place one end onto the bottom here. And then the other end will slowly release down. We have our little 
repair card here you can put underneath the top to kind of let it down easy. So we'll release, make sure that it's pressed down to the bottom there, and then just let it go. Now make sure, super important, that all the adhesive makes its way over every portion of the glass screen protector because if it doesn't and you cure it, it's going to lift up at some point on some of the edges. So let it go over the whole screen protector. You might have to wait minutes, uh, maybe a couple minutes. It might be more like maybe 10, 15, but as long as the adhesive goes all over everywhere, you're good to go. So that looked like it's pretty quick. Um, it's pretty much gotten everywhere that it needs to get. I don't see any edges that don't have any of the adhesive on it. So it looks like we can go on to the curing. Okay, so then once that's done, we'll go ahead and take our cable. You're gonna need to plug this into some sort of adapter, whether it be a power bank or you know maybe the adapter that came with your phone. Anything will work with the USB. Uh, I'm gonna be using a power bank. So we'll undo the legs here, make sure it's sticking out like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cure this in three different sections, 15, 15 seconds each. We're gonna go ahead and do the bottom, the middle, and the top, and then we'll take it out of the tray. So now that it's plugged in, we'll go ahead and push the button over here and then count out 15 seconds per section. Okay, so now that's done, we're gonna go ahead and pop the phone out of our tray here. Okay, so now that that's out, we'll take the speaker grill sticker off to make sure there's no adhesive in there before we continue to cure. Looks good, nothing inside there. So now we're gonna go ahead and cure the rest of this for two minutes each once we take it out of the tray. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any adhesive inside my speakers. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take another alcohol wipe and wipe down the edges. Looks like a pretty clean install. So now that that's all wiped down again, we're gonna go ahead and cure uh, the bottom, middle, and top again for two minutes each. So this time we'll hold in the button. It'll turn it on for one minute, so we'll have to do it twice per section. Okay, so that is done. Go ahead and take a look. So it does look like there is a slight bubble up at the top here in the corner. Let's see if we can see that. You see that right there? So there's a, there's a slight bubble there, it wasn't there before. And then down at the bottom, they said to just cure it for um, what was it, 15 seconds, but we probably should have cured it for a little bit longer than that because when I popped it out of the uh, holder, it kind of pulled up the screen protector a little bit. So maybe cure the bottom a little bit longer. Let's see if we can, if we can see that the bottom here. But anyway, it's not super bad. Um, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. Okay, so it's not working yet. Let's go ahead and put a fresh set of fingerprints in there. Looking good so far. All done. Let's go ahead and test it out. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. Whitestone Dome, you have a competitor. Touch sensitivity is great, no effect. Working beautifully. I think this is probably the best one out of all the screen protectors today. Now the question is, does it work well with cases? So let's go ahead and pop it in a case. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't come up all the way to the top of the case, but on the bottom, it is definitely touching. Only time will tell uh, whether or not that'll lift or not, but as of right now, 
seems to be doing pretty good. This is definitely a go guys. I'd probably have to say this is one of the best screen protectors uh, for curved glass that I've used since the Whitestone Dome. So if you guys are looking for an alternative to the Whitestone Dome that's a little cheaper, definitely check out Ultimate Shield. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed and appreciated uh, all the screen protectors that I've tested for you guys. I, I enjoy doing it, I really do. Um, and again, if it saves you guys money, excellent. I'm all for it. So again, I will be putting a link in the description for all these screen protectors in case you guys wanna pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.